the original Quake was the very first game that allowed dedicated independent servers to exist that people could connect into. That was something very new. What it did is it allowed people to have one place that they could go to compete. What we found is that players would go to the same servers, play against the same people, teams started to form, clans started to form. We planned none of this. And because Quake by itself is very skill-based, you know, it takes a lot of dexterity to play it, it did lend itself well to who is the best Quake player, who has the best skill, who could beat the top guy in the US or the top guy in Europe. I was a player in the late 90s and the early 2000s. Going from you know state to state, country to country, you saw how much passion there was, how much fun people were having playing and spectating. Something was happening here. Competitive gaming back in 1996 wasn't really a thing. So we were just excited that people were playing Quake together. And even QuakeCon, which was uh, a convention started by our fans to see who the best Quake player was, we were really excited by this. You would see a line out the door of people trying to get in and then everyone would be holding their, their giant computers and their huge CRT monitors. Put them on tables that would, that would compress because of the weight. You would have to take multiple trips because there would be so many wires and so many computers. and They were all on land, so they were right there. They'd yell back and forth. It was much more unruly than it is today. And after everyone was eliminated, there'd be two players, and everyone would be hunched behind them, watching them, and seeing what was happening, and they could only see one point of view. And that sense of community and being together and playing together has just grown and grown. I mean, yes, now our communities are millions of people, but we never, we never imagined 20 years ago that the esports industry and the size of what it is today could ever have been a thing. And we are very blessed and fortunate that Quake really started it. Every esport game today can trace its roots all the way back to Quake.